A huge economic announcement made today between the City of Mobile, Mobile County, the Port Authority, and the Mobile Area Chamber of Commerce. Plans for a 1,300-acre industrial park in Theodore, not too far from the Amazon Sortation Center. As Nicolette Schleisman reports from Theodore, this could have a huge impact on the local economy. The more than 6 million square foot park will be built right here, just off of Theodore Dawes Road, south of I-10. This dirt road and woods will soon be home to the South Alabama Logistics Park. Our vision for this project is to be the landing ground for major companies who want to take advantage of the incredible infrastructure our market has to offer. Our market is perched for growth. Mobile Mayor Sandy Stimson says this area needs a project of this size because of projected growth of both Brooklyn Aeroplex and the Port of Mobile. The work starts very soon, later this fall, on uh, deepening and widening the shipping channel. So approximately within four years, we will see fully loaded container ships coming into the Port of Mobile, and we need a place to take those products that are coming in. And the development will lead to more than a thousand jobs. This really propels us into being a much more significant distribution hub. These renderings show what the development company plans to build on the 1300 acre space for companies wanting to do business in Mobile. Companies who are importing product from the port, uh, this is an option available to them to actually build a facility uh, and, you know, distribute the products across the I-10, I-65 intersection. The project is getting infrastructure support from both the county and city. Developers say this project will take several years to complete, but they say they're already in discussions with several companies for the first facility. As soon as our permit is ready for construction, we will, we will build the infrastructure two miles of road utilities uh, to the to activate the site and concurrently with that we will actually break ground on our first facility. There's no set timeline on when construction will begin, but the developer says they plan to start as quickly as possible in Theodore Nicolette Schleisman WKRG News 5.